in 1915 a swiss linguist by the name ferdinand de saussure uh, delivered some lectures and those lectures were you know later published in a book which is titled as general de linguistics and this general de linguistics would later uh, be translated into english in 1950s and would become very famous uh, in 1950s and 60s before deconstruction comes now what does ferdinand de saussure do in this particular work general de linguistics he delivers lectures on linguistics he tries to understand the structure of language ki language kaise kaam karta hai and he defines language he says that language kya hai it consists of signs isme kuch bhi nahi hote and those signs are used for communication for an illiterate person those 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 would be simply a, a sign for example if you do not know english and i write t h i s on the board and uh, you don't know english you don't know t you don't know h you don't know i you don't know s so what would be this it would be merely a sign or say for example i put on a screen uh, this particular word now this is a chinese word now what does this word mean for you absolutely nothing because you are, you don't know chinese so when you look at this word on your screen it is only a sign unless you know its meaning or unless you have learned it it has got no meaning that is what language is it's only signs but these signs get meaning through structure and when we understand understand these their meaning it becomes meaningful without that structure it is absolutely meaningless so this word that i had put on screen was actually uh, this in chinese this is how we write this in chinese but since you don't know chinese so it's a sign now you understand what is a sign so what uh, ferdinand de saussure says that language is but a collection of signs and these signs are put in a particular structure and when they are put in a particular structure they give us meaning now what he does at the very onset he uh, deals with how the language was studied so there was a process of studying language which was diachronic in diachronic uh, what uh, the critics would do they would study language in context of history हिस्टोरिकल डिवेलपमेंट को वो उसमें जो है कंसिडर करते इन इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग आर इन स्टडिंग द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ ए वर्ड आर अबाउट द ओरिजिन ऑफ ए वर्ड बट वॉट फर्डिन डिसोर आर्ग्यूज इज दैट वी मस्ट स्टडी लैंग्वेज सिंक्रॉनिकली बाय सिंक्रॉनिक ही से दैट वी नीड नॉट Uh, take into account the historical perspective of a word or of the evolution of a language but let's study the language at present as it is we need not go back into the origin of it about the development of it we have a word we have a sign in front of us and let's understand this sign first. the language is governed by a very important aspect and that is binary opposition he says for example uh, if there was no binary opposition there were no different colors we would not have red we would not have green we would not have black we would not have white why because red is red because it is not green green is green because it is not white white is white because it is not black so why do we say red is red because it is not green so we put red in opposition to green and then we understand ke red ka ek meaning hai aur green ka ek meaning hai black ka ek meaning hai white ka ek meaning hai night ka ek meaning hai aur day ka ek meaning hai ab night meaning legi day ke opposition mein day meaning lega night ke opposition mein to derrida ne kaha sorry ferdinand de saussure ne kaha ke jo words ka meaning hai wo binary opposition mein aata hai wo binary opposition ke bina नहीं आता है इट्स ओनली थ्रू बाइनरी ऑपोजिशन दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ड्स एंड देर इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट दैट ही टेल्स अस अबाउट लैंग्वेज ही सेज कि जो लैंग्वेज है या जो गेम ऑफ साइंस है या हम जो साइंस एसोशिएट करते हैं कुछ लोगों के साथ कुछ चीजों के साथ दे हैव एब्सोल्युटली नो रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन देम आर इट्स द मोस्ट इलॉजिकल थिंग दैट वी कैन हैव फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही आर Why do we call cat a cat? हम बिल्ली को बिल्ली क्यों कहते हैं या हम उस छोटे से मासूम से जानवर को कैट क्यों कहते हैं नाउ इफ यू लुक एट दिस साइन सी ए टी ऑन यूर स्क्रीन एंड देन लुक एट द 
image of this cat now someone would tell you that is there any relationship between these three alphabets and this animal on its side and you would say no but still whenever someone utters the word c a t cat it directly goes to that cute little animal why does it happen like this is because of the structure but there is no relationship between these two and then we would say that cat is cat because it is not dog you understand now anyone says why do we call a cat a cat he will say because he, it, uh, because cat is not dog so c a t would be different to d o g and this animal is different to this animal so therefore we have a difference between cat and dog so again the cat would get meaning when it goes in opposition to dog and dog would get meaning when it goes in opposition to cat and then uh, you know uh, further and disassure comes up with an important you know relationship between these uh, how how the structure gives meaning to a word for example he uh, gives us about three stages of deriving meaning first he says we have sign then he says we have signifier and then he says we have signified now what is sign sign is just you know uh, a, a these alphabets like i put that chinese word on your screen and you were not able to comprehend that you were not able to reach the signifier of that so sign would be say for example c a and t now for an illiterate person these are three objects three signs which uh, you know do not have any sound jis tarah se aapko wo chinese word koi bhi sound aap uske liye nahi na relate kar sakte the kyunki aap chinese nahi jante the to wo sirf ek sign tha to c a t sirf ek sign hai lekin jab aap is c a t ko cat bologe to ye signifier ho jayega signifier bhi aapko tabhi samajh mein aayegi jab aapko wo language ke basic principles samajh mein aate हूं तो जब हम सी ए टी को इकट्ठा करके कैट पढ़े वेन वी वुड स्टडी दीज थ्री अल्फाबेट सी ए टी एज कैट इट वुड बिकम सिग्निफायर एंड वंस इट बिकम सिग्निफायर द मूवमेंट वी अटर दिस अटरेंस कॉल कैट एंड द इमेज दैट कम्स इन अवर माइंड वुड बी ऑफ दैट क्यूट लिटल एनिमल सो इट वुड रीच इट्स फाइनल मीनिंग इट्स फाइनल डेस्टिनेशन एंड दैट फाइनल डेस्टिनेशन इज कॉल्ड बाई Ferdinand disassure as signified. What we have reached is signified. What does it mean? That we have been able to communicate what we wanted, or we have been able to understand what we wanted to understand. कैट का मतलब अगर हमने किसी को समझाना हो तो हम सिग्निफाइड पे जब पहुंचे तो समझो कि हमने उसको समझा दिया या अगर समझना हो तो सिग्निफाइड पे जब हम पहुंचे तो समझो समझ गए. That is what. that this is how language works this is how language a uh, pattern works there are there 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 are another important two terms which uh, you know uh, ferdinand disassure discusses in his work they are lang and parol now lang is about the principles are uh, the uh, structure which underlays the language that is rules and principles so lang mein kya aayega rules and principles of a language for example what are rules and uh, principles uh, for example i say my name is tanveer his name is uh, yasir now my name is tanveer and his name is yasir the way these sentences are uttered is called as language for example i would say tanveer my is name now tanveer my is name is you know absolutely uh, not following the rules the foundations so it it does not fit in lang and parol is the language spoken by uh, by the uh, people by the masses now what we have in this my name is tanveer and his name is yasir now if you look at these two sentences you have subject and you have predicate you understand now both these sentences are subject and predicate now both these sentences are governed by subject and predicate rule now this subject and predicate is a component of lang and this whole sentence my name is tanveer would be the way people 
स्पीक आर पैरोल स्पीक आर दिस वुड बी पैरोल बिकॉज जो पैरोल होता है जब हम लैंग्वेज यूज करते हैं तो हम उस टाइम जो है ग्रामर को थोड़ी ना जहन में रखते हैं वी आर नॉट ऑलवेज कंसर्न अबाउट ग्रामर पर्टिकुलरली वेन वी आर स्पीकिंग इन अवर मदर टंग से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वी डील विद इंग्लिश वी वुड बी वेरी कॉन्शियस बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट अवर मदर टंग अबाउट the rules of this language but when we speak in our mother tongue what whatever that be urdu kashmiri pahadi dogri whatever that be we have never read the grammar of dogri we have never read the grammar of a uh, kashmiri we have never read the grammar of pahadi but still we uh, manage the sentences properly so that proper management of sentences is the work of our unconscious structure are of that lang and the way we utter would be paro that is what we had in structuralism in this lecture we dealt with structuralism and in particular uh, the linguistic structuralism by ferdinand de saussure i hope that this lecture was helpful for you and you were able to understand structuralism how does it work and why does it work in a particular way Thank you for watching and don't forget to share like comment and subscribe at your academy for more interesting stuff keep watching your academy